It's the first edition of The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. It's privately printed in 1902 in advance of the regular trade edition. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and uh, I'd like to show you some of the features of it. Um, Beatrix Potter wrote uh, The Tale of Peter Rabbit as a letter originally, and she wrote it to amuse some children, and uh, she uh, drew pictures, her own pictures, in the letter. She then decided that it might make a book, but she couldn't interest any commercial publishers, so she decided to publish it herself. So the first edition, uh, privately printed edition like this, looks rather plain compared to the Beatrix Potter books that we're used to with colour pictures of, of Peter on the front. Um, there is only one colour picture in the first edition, which is the frontispiece, which is uh, Mrs Rabbit giving Peter some chamomile tea there. And you can see the date on the title page. It says February 1902. Now, uh, she actually printed this, um, she had it printed, and she first issued it in December 1901. There were 250 copies. And then, because it had, was a reasonable success, uh, she printed another 200, and these were issued in February. So this is uh, the second issue. Um, the illustrations in the book are very similar to the original illustrations that she'd written in her letter. And so they're all uncolored simple black and black and white line illustrations very charming and taking you back to the original spirit of the book which was a letter um, this was seen by frederick warren who was a famous children's publisher and he decided that having seen this that uh, there was scope for published editions and so the later editions do have color illustrations and more elaborate covers there's one other distinguishing feature of this second printing of the private, um, the privately printed edition is that it has a rounded spine. The first printing had a flat spine, um, but it tended to break. And so obviously uh, this was a design improvement to put in a rounded spine, but that's the, uh, the easiest way to tell. It's a very good copy. It's uh, unrestored in original condition. Um, actually belonged to somebody rather grand, the uh, Marquis of Bath. And there's his uh, book plate with uh, Longleat on it. Um, and that's a lovely copy of Beatrix Potter's first book, one of the most famous children's books of the 20th century. Uh, there are further details of this book and all our children's books on our website, Peter Harrington, and uh, the contact details if you'd like to discuss them.